I literally use generative AI hundreds of times a day. So I'm going to share with you the five simplest ways that I use generative AI every single day for everyday AI and tell you exactly how you should use them too. All right, this is the very quick AI in five version. So if you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI, daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping you learn and leverage generative AI. So this is, I did a very long version of this. I'm going to make sure to share uh, this link here as well, but let's just get right into it. Let's go super fast. All right. So here's what you need to know. Knowledge work is changing, whether you know it or not. Uh, you know, there's a McKinsey study that said up to 60 to 70% of work that we do is going to be automated by generative AI. I think it's closer to 80 to 90%. So you need to rethink the way that you work. I'm showing you very simple examples. So here's five very simple ways. Number one, I use ChatGPT to read through the AI news every single day and to deliver me news in a way that makes sense for me. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do all of these five things in ChatGPT. I'm just showing ChatGPT for this one uh, example. So in this example, I use ChatGPT using the GPT web reader, uh, uh, not plugin, but their, their GPT plugins are depreciated. Um, and I essentially tell ChatGPT exactly how I need the information, what matters to me and my audience, and then I can quickly read. I usually read about 30 of these AI news recaps every single day. It's a great way to keep up on whatever matters. So you should do this too. So I tell you exactly how to tweak this in the longer version of the video. Make sure to watch that and steal this method. You're gonna be able to learn so much more every single day in a fraction of the time. And ChatGPT does all the work of converting it to how you need to learn it. All right, I teach you how to do that as well. Number two, summarize web pages into scripts. This is how I do it. I'm gonna show you how you can do it as well. I use a tool called Voila, very good tool. All right, so uh, essentially it is hard to read information on a website, but it's something that so many of us, whether you realize it or not, you spend so much time uh, reading information to keep up on, on your job, your career, whatever it is, grow your company. All right, so I like Voila because you can create customized prompts. All you have to do, you don't have to open another window, log into your ChatGPT account, no matter where you are, what computer, I use three different computers. I save different prompts. I click the voila, depending on how I need to have this information summarized and for what purposes within uh, like one or two seconds, I have a GPT-4 uh, summarized version customized for me and my purposes. You should be doing this too. So much of the time that we spend is eye strain, right? So uh, all these AI chats like Perplexity, Google SGE, Bing Copilot, um, they're taking away uh, traffic from all these major publishers. So publishers are putting more and more ads. It is so hard to get the information that you need with so many ads. It's actually going to save you a lot of eye strain. And again, personalizing information and learning specifically for you if you do it this way. Number three, chat with your own conversations. I do this literally every single day. On Everyday AI, by the time that I'm done talking to the guest afterward, normally have a five to 15 minute conversation with a guest when we're done. My coworker, Brandon, has usually already had our audio transcribed inside of Cast Magic. There's pre-built prompts that we tweak all the time and it's already given us results for all of these prompts from our audio file, but I can also go in there and chat with my conversation. So this is an actual screenshot of an example. Um, I had a guest on, Avi, uh, yesterday, but between the time I had Avi on and the time I wrote the newsletter, the newsletter is written by me, the leverage section, I write that every day, um, I had multiple meetings. I was on a one-hour live stream about something else, so I forgot so many things. So I can chat with my conversation, I know it's weird, um, and to pull out specific insights that I needed when I was writing my newsletter. Here's what you should do. No matter what you do, it's probably recorded. Zoom meetings, recorded, uh, a long webinar, even a YouTube video. You can do so many of these things within Cast Magic. You can build custom prompts and you can just chat with it. So you should be doing this for meetings. You can save so much of your time on meetings. You can also do this obviously in chat GPT, all of these things, but I'm showing you different tools and techniques. So in Cast Magic, let's say you have you know a, the same meeting every single week, it's an hour long and it takes you half of the day to follow up. You can create custom prompts inside Cast Magic. It'll create your, you know, hey, give me, it's always these five people. I need the takeaways for each five. I need an email for each five. I need you to tell me what to update in my CRM. You can do all of this instantly with a customized prompt inside of Cast Magic. Love this. Last, uh, oh no, we got two more. Edge, using Edge for PDF summaries. 
So again, I talked about this on my show Tuesday. That was, if you ban AI, your company is going to fail. But I was looking at this very long Cisco study PDF. All right, so a lot of people don't know, but Microsoft Edge is a great browser. It's based on Chromium, which I like. So if you like Chrome, Microsoft Edge is going to work for you. The thing that I like about it, it's very quick. You can click that little uh, ribbon in the upper right-hand corner there to launch uh, the Copilot banner, um, kind of that, that banner Copilot. It uses GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, you can quickly ask questions of your PDF. Again, you can do this in chat GPT. It's actually faster to do it like this in Chromium, especially if I don't, you know, if I'm just on a small laptop, this is such a fast way to learn specific information. You should be doing this to learn more in less time by consuming more PDF summer summaries reliably. That's another thing. If you're using a large language model, if you're using a, a certain GPT, sometimes they're not super accurate. In my Many hours of, of research, uh, Bing Copilot, if you prompt it correctly, uh, is great at grabbing specific information from that document. Last but not least, perplexity. Use perplexity for hallucination-free research. This is the way I use it. So um, in our newsletter, I always take you know three to five specific takeaways from the guests of that day. This is an actual screenshot, again, of the episode that I did with Avi. He was talking about how expensive it can be for taxpayers to do um, you know, these research papers, you know, academic scientific research papers. A lot of times the tax burden falls on, or, or sorry, the burden to paying for these falls on people, taxpayers. So I didn't want to like dive in to that specific thing on the newsletter because I knew afterwards I was going to ask perplexity. So perplexity, I typed in a simple prompt. It went through, it read 20 different sources. It spit back a bunch of information so I could better understand it and I could write about it in a better way in our newsletter, as well as link to another source that I ended up using. All right. And you should do this. Stop using normal Google search. Stop using normal Bing search. You know, because we spend and waste so much time going on 5, 10, 15 different uh, websites, reading things, trying to grab that one little piece of information buried in there amongst all the ads. Use perplexity instead. It's going to save you so much time. All right. Uh, I hope this was helpful. There's more tips. So I'm going to have a link here uh, in the description or, or the comments of this video. Go share the LinkedIn post. Go repost this. We spend so much time putting together every single day free information for you. We're not charging you. We're not selling you something to do this. Go find that LinkedIn post, repost it. Let me know you did. And I will send you uh, three bonus video tips that we're not going to publish anywhere else. I hope this is helpful. We'll see you back for another AI on 5, y'all. Peace.